Hello my bags, it's Jade. Welcome to an Art Survival Evolved Genesis update video. Today we're going to be covering the Arc Genesis Trader. Will it be dropping tomorrow? I've also got times that the update for the DLC is going to go live on Tuesday when you can expect to finally play Genesis. We're also going to be talking about the boss fight, talking about what the developers have been working on and the trailer being made who is involved in building the sets and what's going on with the trailer. Is it definitely going to be coming out tomorrow? Why do I think it's coming out tomorrow? I think there's going to be a streamer weekend. I think there's going to be lots of your favorite streamers and YouTubers given special access to the DLC to hype it up over the weekend. And a tiny bit of information about how the servers are going to work and how they're not going to be like the Atlas servers. Some rumor got started that people thought if you was running your own private servers, you'd have to rent out loads of them or that it would be a simple case of being like Atlas where you'd go to all these different biomes and it would take a long time to travel there. But we'll clarify that as well. Plus, a little bit of information how you can come and join my free servers on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. Plan Genesis, absolutely free you guys come join just by simply joining discord and i'll show you guys how you can get access to the server when it goes live on tuesday we're always going to be covering the other parts as well don't worry i'm not going to go on to full ramp mode today but we are going to cover some of the issues that were raised and conversations i've had with said about some of the situations with missing dinosaurs and of course the blue screen issues on ps4 that are preventing some players from playing the game so make sure you like the video, helps it out, and let's crack on with everything you need to know about ARK news today. Said did give some additional information about the problems with PlayStation. If you don't know, lots of people have been logged out of their character. Now this isn't a simple case of just having something wrong with one particular area. If you got stuck in this blue screen loop, you cannot go and play on another map. Not with that same character anyway. So this is what's stopping people from playing and enjoying the game. That's why it's such a big issue. If you could load up your same character on other maps, it wouldn't be a problem. But the fact is, lots of people have been logged out on Ragnarok, having blue screen issues when they keep trying to reconnect. And then they're unable to play on any other maps unless they want to start a new character. And obviously a lot of people don't want to do that. They've built up their characters pretty high and they're probably the most amount of people that are complaining. As I showed you guys in my rant video, they're not going to be fixing that issue until Genesis comes out and said confirm that once more. But here's some more details about how that went down. So said replied to me, I think we all agree. It's not something wanted on our side and not something we anticipated expected. Technically, the patch tested clean for PS4. The last build before deployment had a content merge error and it wasn't caught in the smoke test before deployment. So I asked said, will it be deployed with the next Genesis update on 25th and have you guys made a decision on decay extension on Ragnarok? So obviously this has been going on over a week now. By the time Genesis comes out, it will be over two weeks, which normally means bases will start decaying. You will lose dinosaurs. You will lose all your progress. Said has said that the update will be 100% deployed. So that fix should come in on Genesis release. So even if you're not buying the Genesis DLC, to be clear, you will hopefully have the Ragnarok map blue screen issue fixed and you'll be able to join back onto your server. He also said that in discussions about decay, he's raised the issue, but nothing further. I just wish some of this info had been put on the main channel and I just wish they would update it on the forums. So yeah, at least it explains a little bit as well what actually happened with the test servers. So yeah, it explains exactly what happened with it going forward. The reason they can't fix the issue now is because it's insert and so they can't really change or adjust anything because it is considered a major change. And once a cert of a game or a DLC is taking place, you can't add anything to that unless it's really minor. So people with the blue screen issue, you may as well play something else or see if you can just log in enough before so that you at least be near your base and hopefully not stopping the decay from triggering. If I get any more news about an extension to the uh, decay situation, I'll let you guys know. I did get a little YouTube comment from someone saying that, of course, Wildcard should prioritize Genesis rather than some free DLC or free content maps. Since the content maps really aren't their fault, it's something they've given to the fans and they're just mods. Well, there's a reason why it's important. You could argue that if the center map and Ragnarok and Valguero weren't tied to any of the other maps, they were just literally on their own, maybe in a cluster, which sound of it, I think that could be pretty good. But if they were on a cluster on their own, then you could legitimately say, yes, it's okay for that free content that was made from a free mod into official. It's okay for the maps not necessarily to work. That's how Arc view Primitive Plus. 
Hence why they've not bothered fixing it for over a year. They don't view it as official content. They view it as just a, an added mod. And so it's not as important as anything else. But, but because the maps are part of every cluster with Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction and the Island, being able to transfer your characters across, being using their maps in official ways, storing dinosaurs or just having somewhere where it's your main base, that makes it all official and that makes it really important. You can't just simply say, well, it's just a free mod, who cares if it's broke? If the issue only affected Ragnarok single player, I'd be totally down to say, you know what, I can let them off with this one. But it is because it's affecting official servers the most and it is because they're all connected and it does affect people playing the game. That's why I got so pissed off and more so pissed off because they just weren't communicating in the right way. I don't want to boil it over and over and over again, but that's something that's going on. Also, another issue that Seth did talk about was the fact that single player people are missing lots of wyverns, beaver dams, wyvern eggs. Lots of dinosaurs aren't spawning on various different maps, including Ragnarok and Scorched Earth. That's been happening since Christmas time and said said that it will be a focus once the Genesis DLC is out. Can't promise anything right now, but that is definitely in their pipeline to fix that issue for people. So if you've been wondering where all that content has gone, it's simply been broke since before Christmas. Hopefully it will be fixed after Genesis releases. Okay, let's talk about Genesis release date. Now, someone asked him and said, as said, that he thinks it's going to be 10 a.m. As I mentioned in the last video, that's going to be around 6 p.m. UK time, depending on the hour difference, depending where they are. I'm pretty sure they're on the West Coast, though, in Seattle. And so they are eight hours behind. So Genesis DLC, bearing anything going wrong, of course, should launch at 6 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. PT time, Pacific time, and that's going to be around 2 a.m. in Australian time, depending on where you are in Australia. No wording on gig size yet, so don't believe any stupid videos that say this 50 GB update is going to be huge. It may well be that big, but no one knows right now, and no one ever really does know until the DLC is ready to go on a day. And some people have been querying that actually Genesis, because of the way the biomes have been presented that we've seen so far, they could all not be connected to the main map. Some people have been saying it's going to be like Atlas, mainly because obviously Atlas is quite water-based and you've got servers that are connected where you just travel your boat across certain points and it feels like they're connected, even though really there's still a loading stage. But obviously with the lunar biome, lots of people are surmising that there are going to be multiple maps and if you're hosting your own server, you're going to have to pay for lots of different maps. That's not the case. Genesis is going to be just one map in technical terms. Vinland asks, so multiple biomes may or may not be accessible from when each other are connected, but in the end it's still one map, not the multi-map infrastructure Atlas had. Said, said, you got it. Anyway, hopefully that's cleared things up a little bit. Don't worry if you're renting your own server. You only need to have one server. You're not going to have to rent out a bunch of servers if you're playing unofficial. And it does give us a little bit more interest info about what Genesis is going to be like. Also, streamer weekends. This is something we're going to talk about and get a bit of an opinion on. A YouTuber or a streamer asked, do you know who's going to be working with streamers and how to get on the list for that? Because said has said, I'll have someone reach out or I'll get you some deets soon. And this pretty much falls in line with what they've done in the past. They'll have a streamer weekend. I was part of the Atlas streamer weekend, but of course Atlas was delayed so many times, we ended up not getting early access really. Or if you was playing at early access, you were literally waiting hours occasionally to get into the servers. So expect to see your favorite YouTubers and streamers probably play in the Genesis DLC this weekend. I'm not gonna lie, I'm totally free if they wanna give me a key. But considering I just made a big rant video about them, I'm pretty much blacklisted off their list now. It does raise the question though, as I've mentioned in loads of videos, is it right that YouTubers or streamers get early access? Considering this is a pay DLC that had pre-orders up as well, people pay what spent People bought this like seven, eight months ago now. So for it to be delayed or not being planned accordingly just so that YouTubers and streamers can market it, I don't know. I feel like it is a bit shitty, but it is just part of the games industry. I can't rag on them too much. Everyone kind of does this stuff. But yeah, I don't necessarily think it's the right call. I still think it would have been amazing to have a big surprise on Tuesday where every YouTuber and streamer is exactly the same as every other player. Scorched Earth launched like that, apart from me breaking the news almost exclusively that it was going to be a paid DLC, or a new map at least anyway. No one really knew about Scorched Earth other than some mysterious creatures that just didn't fit in with the rest. And it was just the best time. Everyone jumping on, players, servers were lit. 
and you didn't feel like you got it spoiled. But yeah, I do personally still think it would be nice if everyone just got the DLC at the same time and no one's given early access. But that's the way it goes. They're going to pay some big Twitch streamers by the looks of things like they did with Atlas. I'm sure they'll be giving free keys out to some of the big hitters on ARK on YouTube. And we'll see a bunch of content at least to get you all hyped up if that's your thing. You may really enjoy the hype building up to the release of DLC. So let me know, what do you prefer? Complete surprise, seeing it all happen on Tuesday at the same time as you're experiencing it, or getting that hype built up, seeing what some of the creatures can do and what the biomes are so that you're ready to go when it launches on the Tuesday the 25th. Shout out to Anthony B for finding this little bit of info as well from another developer of Ark talking about the asteroids in the lunar biome. Not gonna lie, I've never heard of this dude, but apparently he works on Ark. He took a little break and he's back now. He mentions the final boss that he's been working on, and this tweet is really interesting. It says, I got permission to name 15 of the 54 asteroids in the upcoming lunar biome after characters in the campaign one finally fight. This makes our main character canonical a critter. I can't wait for our explorers to find them all. Not gonna lie, this reference goes right over my head. Something to do with some role playing group that Twitch or live stream. But the way he's talking, it's like the asteroids are actually creatures, calling it a critter. It does look like the lunar biome will have these asteroids and maybe we'll be able to actually land on them. I've seen that a lot in other modded maps. You can actually walk on some of them, but they do start turning and you do get thrown off. It'd be crazy if you could build a base or do something on one of these like that. But yeah, there we go. Just a bit of side info, adding more to the mystery of the final fight, which of course isn't going to be Moda. I do believe there's going to be another final fight, not just the Moda creature. Also, the trailer has still been worked on now, or it was only been worked on a little while ago yesterday. And you can see all the people that were involved, including himself, Mr. GG Fizz. So it looks like the Fuzzy Bear is taking part in the actual trailer and certainly has been doing some building for him as well. So big shout out to Fizz. Go and check out his channel. I'm sure he's going to have lots of stuff going on with Genesis as it launches on Tuesday as well. I also reckon he's one of the dudes that is going to get early access over the weekend, or at least I hope he does. Also helping out is Jat, the Atlas community manager and still a producer for Wildcard. Kudakors is the guy, the main guy in charge of the trailers. He teased yesterday that he was working on it and editing it all in Premiere Pro. I fully expect that trailer to actually probably go out tomorrow, Friday, and build up the hype for the weekend. He gave me a little bit of stick and I said I'll be happy to work with him if he teaches me some stuff. I could certainly improve his trailers. I'm always here available wildcards. You want me to help out with community management? You want me to help out with your trailers? I'll come and work for you guys. But as you can see, they had about 10 people on it about 12 hours ago. And it did look, and it does look like it took them around four hours to make the trailer. I'm sure they probably had people setting stuff up beforehand, like GG Fizz building the trailer sets. There's a bunch of other employees here that you probably know. So again, big shout out to Fizz. I hope he's getting well compensated for helping make this stuff. There we go, guys. As far as we know, Genesis is launching on the 25th on Xbox, PlayStation and the PC. We don't know the download sizes just yet, but we do know it's going to launch at 10 a.m. in the morning. All the problems with the blue screen are hopefully going to be fixed by then for PlayStation 4 players. And other issues like the missing dinosaurs and stuff like that won't be happening until maybe afterwards. There's going to be some sort of streamer weekend this weekend. So guys, I'll be back for my access show later on taking a look at a bunch of other game news. And like I said, hopefully I can get access if they do have a streamer weekend. Otherwise, I'll be journeying along with you on Tuesday when I set up my own servers. If you want to play on my servers, they're going to be set up later on today. We're going to be testing them out all over the weekend to make sure the rates are okay. And I'll be having servers free of charge on Xbox, PlayStation and PC for you to come and play Genesis. They will not be clustered with any other map. They're not going to be super boosted. And of course they are going to be PvE. As ever, I'll be here for the good and the bad. Hopefully there will be no more bad stuff going on with Ark. Hopefully Tuesday I'll be singing Wildcard's praises that we finally got a DLC that just works. So until next time, Rat Bags, I'll see you later.